Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day again everyone Today we will be discussing of how to convert radicals to rational exponents Okay, so but before we go there I'll just uh, remind you guys That any radicals with no index written It's by default equals to uh, 2 There's a 2 outside there And any number and or any letter Okay, that will have no exponent Will be, will have automatically a 1 above it Okay, so say we have y, there's one there, above there, okay? Yeah. So that's just a slight reminder because what uh, this is very important when you are trying to convert radicals to rational exponents, okay? So firstly, when we talk about radicals, okay, let's have this uh, specific rule. You will have a raised to uh, um, nth root, okay, of n. nth root of a raised to n. So when you try to convert this one into a rational exponent, it would be like this. The exponent will be on the numerator and then the um, index will be on the denominator. And it's vice versa. If you would see a, fraction, um, a fractional exponent, you can express it in this way. Okay? Long as you see a fractional exponent, it is under radicals. Okay? So let's try to convert our first example being 7 raised to one third so in this case again it's the same structure as this one right and what would happen would be this would be your base so we write it down and write the radical okay and then you write down the exponent and the index in this case the exponent is one so therefore we don't need to necessarily we don't necessarily need to write it down but the case of the cube here yeah we need to we need to write it down so we have cube root of 7 raised to 1 or just simply cube root of 7 another example say we have 6 um, raised to 3 halves so what do we need to do we just simply need to write the radical write the base and know where to put the exponent and the index okay the exponent will be of course beside the number itself or the term itself and then the index would simply be on the outside of the radical and uh, um, a question is do we need to write 2 no because of course that is the default index of any radical with no visible writ uh, visibly written number okay another say we have 10 raised to n raised to, uh, 10 n raised to um, 5 6 okay so again write the base inside get the square uh, the root and then the exponent will be given not just to to uh, no, to n but also to your number because what happens here is we can actually separate this one this is 10 n raised to 5 raised to 1 over 6 remember diba kapag multiple exponent we just simply multiply it's the same as 5 6 Okay, so technically, I will give 5 to 10 and to n. Okay, so whatever happens, if it is enclosed in a parenthesis, always give it to everyone inside or all the base. Okay, so you will give the exponent 5 to everyone. Or I can just simply write it down as, let me just undo a little bit. Okay, I will enclose them in a parenthesis na lang so that I don't necessarily need to simplify. Okay, and having this the index is 6 so write 6 it's that simple okay another example say we have 9 n raised to 4 raised to 1 half so we are just uh, um we are just um, rewriting converting so we don't necessarily need to simplify so we will have our number again raised to 1 or I don't necessarily need to write them down okay and I get the square root I don't need to place 2 because again it's by default 2 okay so this would be how to convert our radicals to rational exponents yan lang very basic lang and you just have to remember this one okay and if you have multiple a uh, multiple um, terms inside or this one your base is many many in a sense na ano na you will have a number three letters okay place to say um three fifths you put a parenthesis inside na lang okay to denote that they are grouped together and then get the roots okay 
so that would be all if you have any other questions you can view the video again or ask me in our class thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh